Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. Training deep learning models mean having a data set, and that usually means labeling data. And as we know, deep learning models are really data hungry, so we need lots of data, lots of label data. And that's time consuming and expensive, and you know, let's face it, not so fun to do. So what if we could actually train models with just a tiny bit of labeled data? And when I say a tiny bit, I mean really a handful of data instances. Well, this well, is exactly what you can do with the SetFit library. Bring in just a few labeled samples and get really, really good results with very short training times. And in fact, training times are so short that you can consider training on CPU, right? And you know, I've been a little bit obsessed with those new Intel CPUs lately. And yes, of course, we're going to train with SetFit on Intel CPUs. And you'll see it'll only take minutes and we're going to get extremely good results. Okay, let's get to work. To begin with, you should really read the SetFit blog post, which has a lot of interesting information. And uh, in a nutshell, SetFit is an open source library that lets you train uh, sentence transformer models for text classification using few shot learning. So with just a few labeled samples, right? And the, the mile high view is really that you start from that uh, tiny bit of data. Uh, let's say positive and negative sentiment uh, um, data, right? SetFit will generate a certain number of sentence pairs, uh, so positive and negative, to, uh, to learn the difference between those two classes, right? It's called contrastive learning. And so first, the model will be automatically fine-tuned on those sentence pairs, okay? And the, the, the intuition is, yeah, we want to understand how a positive sentence is different from a negative sentence, okay? Uh, so we'll uh, we'll fine tune the uh, the embeddings here. Then we will actually encode the sentences in the data set with the fine tuned uh, sentence transformer model. Okay, and so that will give us embeddings, and we can use that to train the actual uh, classification layer. Okay. So that's pretty clever. Uh, start with a little bit of data, learn the differences. Uh, fine-tune a model and then use that model to train a classifier. Okay, pretty cool. And the code is dead simple. So why don't we look at that? So here's a, here's a very simple example. Uh, it's actually adapted from the blog post. I experimented with different data sets. Um, and I went for the Yelp polarity data set. So it's a, uh, it's a set of... Um, uh, reviews, right, from, from Yelp, obviously. And it has two classes, positive and negative, and they're really strong, uh, you know, polarized reviews. Okay, so I thought, well, that should work pretty well with uh, with few short learning, okay? And I'm only grabbing eight reviews from each class, okay, as you can see here. And I'm using the full test set, right? So then, I'm downloading a sentence transformer model from the hub. Okay, and we have this uh, set fit model API, which is very familiar. And thank you, library creators. We have a set fit trainer object, which again will feel very familiar. Passing the model, the training set, the evaluation set, the metric, um, the loss class we want to use, uh, the batch size and the number of iterations and the number of epochs. And I'll just fine tune for one single epoch, okay? All right, so that's simple enough. And then I just call train and then call evaluate and then print the metrics, okay? And yes, as mentioned before, I am running this on um, a Sapphire Rapids uh, Intel instance on AWS. And we've seen this before, but we see we have the AMX uh, support enabled, okay? So the advanced matrix extensions that accelerate um, metrics multiply and accumulate, which certainly we're gonna run during the training step, okay? So let's just run this code and it should be fast, okay? Uh, so we see 
Uh, the original data set is actually 560,000 reviews, right? I'm just taking eight. And, um, and then I'm using the full test set, right? Okay, so that's my data set, the actual one. And now it's training. And you can see one epoch will last just a little bit less than three minutes. Okay, so, you know, why go and fire up a GPU for this? Um, it's fast enough, right? I can, you can run it on any machine uh, that you have laying around. So that's pretty cool. Let's just wait for this to complete and then we'll see what accuracy we get. All right, so once evaluation is done, we see accuracy is a very nice 94.5% with two minutes and 19 seconds of training. What else can I say? So set fit is very impressive. And, um, and I really encourage you to give it a try. Uh, looks like it gets very sweet results with just a tiny bit of data. So go and try it out. You could very well save yourself uh, a world of trouble by, um, by just working with a tiny bit of data. And of course, you can work with uh, CPU servers, which you know are my favorite. They're easier to manage, uh, generally less expensive as well. So yeah, it looks like we have a good combination, set fit and CPU, so I'll keep digging. Well, that's it for today. I hope this was fun and informative. Uh, I'll see you soon with more content. Until next time, keep rocking.